I am Deepika Prakash from National Law University, Delhi and this presentation is about report writing under the subject of research methodology. In every research in any field, there are certain basic steps that every researcher has to take. First step that a researcher takes is defining a research problem. Once he defines a research problem, he goes on to review the available literature on the topic. After reviewing the literature, he goes on to formulate the hypothesis or the research question as the case may be. Subsequently, he goes on to create a research design for the entire research to be taken forward. On the basis of this research design, he goes on to collect the data. This data once collected with the help of various data tools is then processed, analyzed and subsequently interpreted. Once the interpretation of data done, generalizations are drawn the final step in the entire research process is taken which is making the report on the research. Now what is a report? In every research there is a research report. This report is the formal logical presentation of the research conducted. No research is complete without a research report. As the culmination of the research investigation, the report contains within itself a logical and coherent explanation of the various stages of the research and how the conclusion was arrived at. Now it is made to convey to the interested per persons the whole result of the study in sufficient detail and to determine himself the validity of the conclusions that are drawn. The ability to write an effective report is one of the most useful skills a researcher can acquire. The arrangement of ideas and interpretation of the findings is of utmost importance equivalent to the entire research process itself. Now what are the significance of a report? The first significance of a report is that it conveys knowledge to the concerned persons in the field of the research. Second, it properly presents the findings for further utilization as well as recommendations. The report further gives impetus to further research in the concerned knowledge area. And it helps to re-examine the validity of the generalization drawn by the researcher after the report has been submitted. Now there are various kinds of reports depending upon the object of the report and the area. There are business reports, project reports, there are dissertations, theses, there are various inquiry reports. There are also legal research report. This presentation deals with how a legal research report is written. Now what is a legal research report? It is a report which deals specifically with a legal problem. Such a report is not a complete description of the work done by the researcher. It is only a brief statement of the most significant fact that are necessary for the understanding the generalizations drawn by the investigator. Now there are some basic guidelines for every report writing. First guideline that a report writer must keep in mind is the knowledge of the research material. The writer must have the comprehensive and adequate knowledge of the research area. It forms the backbone of the entire research process and is of vital importance at the time of analysis and interpretation of report writing. 
Second guideline is organizing of the research material. The material collected must be organized and the notes made on them manageable and properly arranged with sufficient information which may be required. The research information must be logically analyzed and represented in the correct sequence of time or occurrence. Another guideline for the researcher is that he should do a continuous report reflective thinking. Researcher constantly reflects on the material and the data collected for a more comprehensive legal report. He should make rough drafts which will help him with research interpretation and generalizations in a more accurate and relevant form and will also help him test the research questions and the hypothesis. Another guideline that a researcher must follow is to rewrite and polish the rough drafts. Careful revision of the drafts helps in checking the development of the arguments in the report. Representation of the material as well as the cohesiveness of the entire report. Preparation of the final bibliography. It is essential that from the very beginning of the research, the researcher must maintain a bibliography of the literature read, consulted and incorporated in the research process. This bibliography is generally appended to the research project. It should be arranged alphabetically and be divided into various parts like names of the books, articles, reports and legislations consulted. Another guideline that the researcher must follow is footnoting and headnotes. The researcher must, wherever citing another author's work, make due footnotes or endnotes to add authenticity and reference to the report. There are various methods of writing bibliography and footnotes like the blue book method which is basically from the Harvard school and the Oscola method which is of the Oxford school. Now coming to the structure of a report. The following discussion is a, of the structure is a general discussion of any report, not specifically a legal report. Pauline V. Young summarized the contents of a good report as following. First, introduction. The introduction must be clear, cut statements as to the nature of the study, aims, source of information must be mentioned, scope of the study must be mentioned in the introduction and this altogether will make an introduction of a report. Second, brief statement of the working hypothesis which guided the study. Third, explicit definitions of the units of study. Fourth, brief statement of techniques used in the study. For example, types of observations used and conditions under which observations were made, types of schedules formulated and conditions under which information was secured, types of case history data secured, their sources, manner of presentation and preliminary analysis made. Then sampling procedure and conditions of selection and testing for appropriateness representativeness, statistical procedure, sources of statistical data conditions under which they were obtained and types of scaling techniques used. Fifth, brief description of experimental treatment of data and techniques in experiments. Sixth, the major findings. Seventh, major conclusions reached about findings. Eighth, special remarks. For example, problems encountered in gathering the data, classifying them, analyzing them, possible discrepancies in the data collected, then suggestions to subsequent investigators on the same topic in the same context, bibliographical references found useful in the study with annotations, appendices might include 
sample questions, transcriptions, sheets, sample interviews, and the likes.